yeah what's the other people was good <clears throat> today 16th november 2019 and saturday evening today i'll be talking about shit test and the misconceptions of shit test yeah you see shit test is misunderstood by a lot of people even the people who i see as dating coaches um, actually what they used to what a lot of people used to say about she's test that is true that when a woman she tests you she's trying to uh check your level of confidence trying to check for insecurity in you um trying to know you know if you if you are confident on on, uh, on of yourself or on, in yourself rather whichever way and that means that you have to undo it uh with humor you know that's the preferable way of handling uh she test which is true but there is this notion that shit test is as a result of a woman uh, being sexually interested in you it is true it is true but in my own perception in the first case even when you even when i haven't or generally when you haven't done anything as a sign of insecurity in most cases of course i'm usually aware of myself you know you might be doing some things that uh that's exude that's exuding uh, lack of confidence or insecurity at times and you wouldn't know but i'm talking about when i'm this is something i've experimented and i see that even when you are not exuding insecurity right a woman she's testing you is a sign of sexual interest but the exception is that it's also a sign of insufficient interest it's a sign of sexual interest but it's a sign of insufficient sexual interest you see when a woman is uh, highly interested in you let me tell you the shit test is less uh, sometimes you don't even get shit test that's the fact you don't even get shit test at times in most cases in most cases when a woman is interested in you i'm talking about but the point is that uh, when would you when are you going to find the woman that is not going to shit test you and in most cases one secret that a lot of dating coaches don't use to mention i'm not a dating coach you know i on my channel I've, i'm going to be giving a lot of uh, dating tips uh, based on my past success with women as well it might not be skyrocketing you know why i don't have a lamborghini i'm not you know you can see my look i'm average and so but the point is i'm contented with I don't want to go into that the point i'm trying to make is that it's a sign of insufficient interest whether people like it or not it's a sign of in insufficient in whether you like it or not it's a sign of insufficient interest and when a woman is shit testing you a woman is shit, who is shit testing you it shows that you have some work to do before you get her into bed or you, before you get her to submit for you you have a lot of work you still have a lot of work to do before you get her to submit for you but the woman who complies with you you know you you guys went on date or even if not on date but you know the things that you expect from a woman that is interested in you is happening hmm? you can carry on because a lot of people used to I, I know a lot of dumb guys who used to wait for shit test that you know if she hasn't she's test, she tested you that means she's not interested no even it it is better when she complies with any, everything you bring and everything you do without she's testing you it's a sign of submission and greater interest i'm talking of total interest yeah i sometimes even for me in most cases i usually set aside the women who should test me most especially when when i'm at the mo anytime at the mo i'm at the moment in my life where i don't want to be wasting time on convincing a woman when i don't anytime i don't want to be uh putting my energy into convincing a woman to sleep with me or something like that what i would do is to uh you know any woman that is trying to give any form of attitude or any restriction you know i cut them off instantly yeah what's up how you don't you know the conversation goes like that and my number one rule i'm not saying you should use this i'm only trying to uh explain how i used to filter girls out so that you can understand the point i'm trying to pass across in this video is that uh maybe i approach the girl now you know hey, what's up how you doing uh where you from this and that where do you stay what do you do blah 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 you know 
um, you know, a lot of uh, some few pickup lines and at times just to spice things up. Pickup lines is shit to me because it doesn't seems to have anything. But it's uh, funny pickup lines at times. You know, go a long way at times. Then immediately I ask for the number. If she doesn't give the number that day, phew, never again. Like I won't even talk to. Her. This doesn't happen all times. There are girls that I, that I have try to convince to sleep with me or try to keep uh, keep our friendship that I with the hope that it's going to turn to relationship in two months three months hmm? even four months at times four months at times so but the point I'm trying to make is that um, when I anytime I don't want any kind of complications or any kind of trouble i don't want to be bothering my mind over okay i haven't called this guy today or i just want to feel relaxed i just want to date with someone who is ready for who is down for either a relationship or down for you know uh for being a bedmate or fuck friend or whatever i screen women out a lot and in most cases i might have to do like maybe 70 approaches to bang a girl yes i'm telling you it happens like that. 70 approaches to bang a girl. When I'm trying to do this. But anytime, but when I'm rela more relaxed and I'm not having a lot of things clogged in my life, you know, like for for now, like for example, now I'm doing YouTube. I, I used to do this a lot before. I and you know, I do it uh at certain moments in my life when I have a lot going on for me. So right now, maybe uh Maybe I go to a gathering now, or maybe a Twitter hangout or something like that, you know. And I, maybe this Twitter hangout, I, I approach like 10 girls. And maybe in the evening, the second day in the evening, I went to a restaurant, you know. I approached like five, you know. I don't know. But like, before I found, before, I, before two weeks, I'm going to find that one girl that is not going to, you know, that I'm going to meet that same day. I'm bang that same day or the second or so maximum I haven't even experienced that of third day before huh? the only one I've experienced was second day the only one that extended to the third day was with me in my uh, where I live but she was called by a younger sister because she forgot the, the key that a younger sister is supposed to use to enter your house was with her was with her so she has to leave and come back the third day so that is it i don't i don't bother myself but i bother myself at times if i want to go on a, a, a what's the name if i want to go on a spree easier thing and i want to you know uh, i'm i'm ready to pander up to the women and trying and try to convince them as much as i can to even though when i say convince them i'm not talking that i'm talking of begging them or trying to be um you know subservience to them that you know please try and you know, show some interest in me no that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is that um you know with game with game you know you, if i'm supposed to call a girl like once in once in a week i call him like maybe thrice in a week or four times in a week hmm? there are some girls that i call every day so that they can submit to me yes of course because that works for some girls a lot of people a lot of decent questions might be telling you ah don't call her more than once in a week don't call her more than three hours in a week shut bumbo clap nonsense that doesn't work for all women some there are some women that you have to call them every day to keep their interest with you they don't give a fuck you have to call them every day there are some that you have to you can call them once in a week then you know and as well it depends on your own smv as well it depends on your smv and you know your smv actually open more doors to more women for you but no matter what your smv is uh you can't be attractive to every woman that's true you can't be attractive to every woman but it is just going to uh if you used to bang like uh my normal my normal rate is if i'm ready to pander up to women if i'm ready to uh raise a woman's interest even when a woman is having insufficient interest and I decided to, if it's um, the moment where I, I'm, not, I'm not having a lot of pressure in my life and I'm ready to uh, convince a woman or raise a woman's interest. Um, I, I think after I can bang one out of 40 women or one out of 45. I used to bang one out of 45. One out of 40, 40 to 45, that's the ratio. 
1 out of 40 to 45. Mm -hmm. That means I have to make 40 approaches to 45 approaches. And I don't approach anywhere. You know, there are places where you have to approach and you know and you are going to get uh, get the right result if you approach like that in places where they are, those things are not applicable you are going to get bad results that's the fact you are going to get bad results so that is it and i'm going to make a video about where you have to where you can approach or not that's that's the fact and secondly the thing i want to talk about is shit test according to uh in terms of not in women terms, not in dating, in the dating life alone. I'm talking of shit test in life, generally shit test in career. You see, uh, when you, you can game, learning game uh, or having a good game can get you a lot of things. It has a lot of usefulness to you. And it's not about, it's not about, um, you know, it's not about women alone or trying to get, in, get women into bed alone it's about uh using game is game is like a psychological skill that you can use to get what you want from people hmm? so when you learn it it can only sustain you for a certain period of time to get whatever you want for example let's say you know of someone who has something in possession and that person is not really really sure of giving you that thing and you need that thing badly Mm -hmm. and in game there's one rule you know distance actually raises interest and it raises people's interest and respect for you you know maybe you ask the, that person okay uh hello man can you kindly do this favor for me or can you help me with this thing and that person was like ah, i don't think i can but you know for this reason and that reason and you know other kind of crappy reasons people give when they don't want actually want to give things up you know, for me, if I'm to be in such shoes, what I'm going to say is that, you know, I'm going to cut him, I, I'm, I'm going to cut into him like, you know, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And, you know, so that I won't be appearing like I'm really, really too desperate for that thing. I'm, and after then, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to end that conversation there, but not angrily. Not angrily and not like, um, like I'm cool, totally cool with it, like, ha, ah, no problem. No, I'm not going to be goofy like that. But I'm just going to be like, when the person say, okay, uh, you know, I should have, I would have, uh, I can't do this for you. And, you know, I, I have this to be done, you know, so that is why I can't. It's like, okay, 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 no problem. You know, then I might wait for like, um, I might wait for like, uh, like a week. Then I'm going to give like a complimentary call to the person, like just call him. And I mean, let me say, uh, I, I don't want to say a complimentary call. Like, let me say just a normal call. Like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Like, without any depiction of what i actually want to get from him without any depiction of what i want to get from him like uh okay uh, and what about the thing i discussed with you the other time no i'm going i'm not going to say that i'm just going to call him like hey what's up i'm just checking on you or something like that then after like a week or two again i'm going to call him again and i'm sure that that person is going to give me what I that thing I want from him, but the point is this doesn't last so much. It doesn't last. So the best thing is to look for that per, the person that is really really interested in giving you that thing from the onset, and that also has to do with uh, the value that you yourself are carrying. Let's say you want uh, you want someone to to appoint you to do a job for you, which you're, uh, a job for him or her, which you are going to get paid for it. You have to you have to protrude and exude this uh, uh, this sign of competence that you'll be able to handle the thing well, or you'll be able to handle the task well. And that will that is going to raise the interest of the person in giving the job to you. You know you have to do your own assignments and look for the person that is going to. Uh, that is going to click in you know, that is going to click in with you and not just someone that you know, are going to be pandering up to and you will know, be trying to fix things uh, you know it is good to fix things in most cases because if you don't want to be fixing things that means you have uh, a very little option in life you have a, li a very little option in life so but in most cases so uh, back to the il my illustration so if the person could give me after after running my game on the person my manipulative 
game on the person if i need that favor the second time i'm sure no matter what or no matter the game i play hardly would i find that person to give me if that person give me the second time the third time no matter the kind of game i run i will never get that thing from that man again unless i had to the value or reasons unless i can give him reasons convincible reasons that is going to make him want to give me not just the game not just the psychological thing or already the head game that i'm playing on him so head game works on women and on people generally but it doesn't last it can it's to me i don't think it can actually get you the things you really really desire i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you the things you really really desire of course the things you really really desire are the things that these things you want them in such a way that is not you are not going to be having worries you are going to have peace of mind you're not going to be uh, there's no peace in you know having a woman that tells the shit tells the fuck out of you in the morning the afternoon all the time no firing she's test to you all the time you know you know sometimes you just want to relax and calm your brain and you don't want to bother about when she's test or something like that you know there are times where i intentionally feel shit test i will know that there's someone was you know maybe i i said okay uh what's up why what are you going to eat and you know okay i want maybe she's she said okay i want to i i, I want this and i got that thing for for him uh, let's say in the restaurant you know i want this i i i ordered for what i want she ordered for what she wants and after i make the order again after making the order orders even though i i order things for women forget about all this uh you know you don't serve her the food anything it doesn't matter it doesn't matter a woman that is gonna fall for you is gonna fall forget that nonsense you know so the point i'm trying to make is that you know maybe after we got the food uh let's say for example she asked for rice and i asked for amala amala is actually a food in nigeria it's an african food i asked for amala it's made from cassava but that's not the point uh i asked for amala, for amala. she asked for rice at the end of the day and after serving her the rice she was like oh no why, why would you get me a jollof rice there are different types of rice rice in nigeria why do you get me a jollof rice why could can't you get me another type of rice which you didn't spare why which you didn't specify from the onset hmm? if i'm there are some times where i'm just too emotionally lazy to to be trying i know that is a shit taste right i just have to the right response should have been uh, why do you uh, come on i just be like i either to keep silent like you know just leave me alone i can just say please leave me alone like just fuck off of course and you know she's gonna smile and she's gonna continue eating eating her food and not every shit taste requires um humor there are some there are some shit taste that just require you know just fuck off there are some shit taste that require you to say what's in your mind there are some shit that just allow you to that you just have to bullshit whatever she's